beautiful journey unfolds, let our products naturally assist you. Salome, your journey matters. Available at pharmacies nationwide. Welcome back, everybody. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We are turning our attention to women's health this morning. Now, the experience of menstruation differs from women to women the same way that symptoms they experience also does. Now, when it comes to truly understanding these differences, we need to engage with experts that can give us the answers. And luckily, we have that person here today. Joining us in studio today to discuss heavy menstrual bleeding is expert and gynecologist obstetrician, Dr. Anika Hendricks. Good morning. How Good morning. are you? Good in you. Good, doctor. Dr. I know we shouldn't be comparing our cycles to one another and it's bad to say that but I always say it's God's favorite and God's not so favorite <laughs> but when it comes to our cycle why do some women bleed more heavily than others well heavy bleeding is usually a cause for it and it needs to be sought so the cause needs to be found so it's usually polyps something called adenomyosis, fibroids, a thickened lining of the uterus. But if somebody has heavy bleeding, they should definitely see either the GP or the gynecologist so that they, an investigation can be done At to find the cause. And it's great that you mentioned that we need to seek medical attention yeah. when we do have any concerns, but at what point do we come and see our GP or our gynecologist? And why is it so important to speak about your menstrual cycle with your GP and gynecologist? So I would suggest doing it early, just to ascertain, to make sure that everything is okay, to discuss your cycle with your doctor, so that the doctor can tell you, you know, patients may not know, is this normal? And like you say, you shouldn't compare yourself to others, rather go to the doctor and find out. So um, they would do an examination usually when they do pap smears. Women do pap smears yearly. That's a good time to speak about your period and just find out what is normal. Is this normal or should I be worried? Do we need to do any further investigations like an ultrasound perhaps? Hmm. And never mind, our cycles change as you get, get, grow older, we yes. know that. But sometimes our cycle can change within our period of yeah. our menstruation. Like your flow can be heavy on one day and yeah. can be different on the next day. Why is that? So generally flow is going to be heavy in the first few days. That's because the lining that is built up. So the lining inside the uterus basically builds up in preparation for pregnancy. If the pregnancy does not happen, that lining is shed. So the first few days are then therefore going to be heavy, some heavier than others. It depends on the hormonal influence on that lining of the uterus. And then the next few days, so after I would say from day three on, it usually gets lighter. If it doesn't, there could be a hormonal imbalance, but the reason it becomes lighter is that now that endometrium is regenerating again for the next cycle in preparation for pregnancy. My friends and I always make this joke like, couldn't Mother Nature just send us a message like, <laughs> you're not pregnant, you're good to yeah. go. So it's, it's a natural thing that happens to ladies. Um, and in some ladies, unfortunately, it does affect the quality of life. And that is when us as doctors can actually help and provide medication, obviously first exclude pathology, abnormalities, and then help um, so that you can have good quality of life. And in terms of signs and symptoms we should be looking out yeah. if you are concerned that you are a heavy bleeder, mm. what are some of them? So uh, theoretically heavy bleeding is more than 80 mils or 80 mils and more for a cycle. So that's very really difficult to quantify unless you're using a moon cup. The mental cups, yeah? Yeah. Um, so what patient, I mean, I would I tell my patients, if you are soiling, so if you're having to use double pads, if you are dirtying your clothing, your linen at night, if it affects your quality of life, so you can't go to school, absenteeism from school or work or not being able to do activities such as social or sporting activities, that means it's affecting your life and it's not okay. And then at what point would you administer Salome into your cycle and into your lifestyle or just maybe go to an alternative to now start seeking relief to get a better quality of life? So as an anti-inflammatory, I mean any anti-inflammatories can be used a few days up to a week before your expected cycle so that it can actually help with the pain um, that people experience and the amount of, and, and lessen the bleeding definitely. Dr. Anika, thank you, thank you so much. You're I'm welcome. sure there are so many girls and ladies out there that you have answered questions with regards I hope to so. heavy bleeding. As you know, no conversation is off limits. We are all about equipping ourselves with knowledge on our journey to learning more about our cycles. With Salome, your journey matters. On a monthly basis, 
All of us powerful, fierce women deal with our menstrual cycle, but why let it affect our lives? Anywhere I go, anywhere I be. As your natural journey unfolds, let our products naturally assist you. Live your full, unfiltered life with the Salome range for PMS, menstrual pain, and heavy menstrual bleeding. Salome, your journey matters. Available at pharmacies nationwide.